Hi, this is Stephanie coming to you from Pennypack Environmental Center. This week we had a chance to do some Animal Olympics and today I'm here with my friend Tess who is our intern um, this summer and she is going to be helping us see some of the activities you can do at home. We're going to be heading out into the meadow to look for the first activity. The first activity of our Animal Olympics is strike a pose. Just like a great blue heron, a great blue heron can stand on one leg with her eyes closed for over an hour. Tess, do you want to give standing on one leg with your eyes closed a chance? Of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's find number two. Number two is the fastest waddler. On average, a duck can waddle at a speed of eight feet per second, or 31.2 miles per hour. Speeds from 26 to 72 miles per hour have been recorded for various species of ducks. Let's pretend to be a duck with a simple waddle and see how fast we can go. You can waddle eight feet in a second, how do you compare to a waddling duck? So there's our eight foot mark. You want to give it a try? Yep. Give it a try at home, guys. There's number three. Let's check it out. This one is sipping nectar. Hummingbirds can stick their tongue out 13 times per second in order to get nectar from a flower. Time how long it takes you to stick your tongue out 13 times. How do you compare to a hummingbird? Come to this. There's number four. This may be easier to do at home than here in the park. This one is slithering snakes. The average speed of a snake has been set at about 8 miles per hour. In quick bursts, the snake can move at speeds of 12 miles per hour. To put that into perspective for you, the average person jogs at a pace of 8 miles an hour. Here's your challenge. Lay on your tummy and wiggle along the ground like a slithering snake. Can you slither as fast as a snake? There's number five, slowest walker. In an, ex in, a, in an experiment, the box turtle has been clocked as fast as 0.25 miles per hour over a short distance, but a more average walking speed is 0.17 miles per hour. A box turtle will rare, rarely cover 100 yards or 300 feet in a full day of walking. Can you walk like a turtle? And how fast can you go? There's your 10 foot marker. Tess, do you want to give it a try? Yep. I think you're much faster than a turtle. Here we are at number six. Let's go check out what it is. This one is the fastest flapper. for bats in the meadow, meadow. Little brown bats, which eat flying insects, can flap their wings about 110 to 120 times in 10 seconds. Here's your challenge. With arms stretched out, flap your wings for 10 seconds and count how many times you can flap your wings. Tessa, do you wanna give it a try and see how many times you can flap your wings in 10 seconds? Yeah. Okay, ready? 10 seconds, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
I think you you didn't beat that challenge. What's the next one? Number seven is high jump stars. Just like the spittle bug. The high jump champion of the animal world may be the spittle bug. This insect is the is only as long as a pencil eraser, but it can jump 115 times higher than its body length. That would be like a person leaping over a 70 story skyscraper. Today's challenge is, can you jump higher than the two foot mark behind us by bending your knees and jumping in place? Do you wanna give it a try and see if you can jump higher than that mark on the sign? Let's see. Oh, that was pretty good. Here's number eight. Long jump stars. A grasshopper can jump 30 inches. If you could jump that many times your body length, you could cover an entire football field in a single bound. Can you hop the 30 inches from the sign to the next sign? Let's, let's give it a try. So go ahead and stand at that sign See if you can hop past the other sign. Almost, you made it. <laughs> so here we are coming up on the last one. And this one is hop to it. Let's see what it says. Toads can hop up to 14 feet in a single bound. So from a low squatting position, just like a frog, Jump forward, return to your squat, and see how far you can jump. For comparison, we put the 14 foot mark to see if we could hop that far. What do you think? Do you think Tessa can hop that far? Let me stand behind the sign and we'll see how far she makes it from a, from a low position. I don't think I made it. Maybe about four feet. Great job, Tess. Thanks for joining us and thanks for um, playing along for Animal Olympics. Take care.